Hey, what's going on, everyone? James and I'm here. Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today, we're going to be going over the voter registration statistics and the petitions of as of on the week of December 10th, 2022. So, like the petitions, nothing else has actually changed except for no labels. They actually got hundreds of valid signatures this week. So, very good for them. As long as they continue getting moments like this, they're definitely going to make it by the end of 2023. They're not going to make they make the death make it by this year, but that's not that, that, but they should not be worried about it because the expiration dates for all the all the remaining petitions that are ongoing they expire in 2024. So yeah, I will constantly be updating you guys on the petitions each time, just in case changes in the Constitution Party or veterans. I don't think veterans is gonna make it, like I said, but you know. I'm, I can't wait to see the moment when No Labels reaches that goal. And even if they make that goal, they'll probably tr try to get even more after what happened to the Green Party. So, yeah, without further ado, let's go compare last week to this week. So, last week there was 7,437,000 voters. This week, the amount of registered voters grew by, like, 11,000. And, um, Democrats grew up by, like, Around 1,300. Republicans grew by like 2,100. The Greens grew by, wow, like 70, no, um, 45, 69. Oh, nice. They grew by like 69. That's, uh, that's uh, nice. The Libertarian Party grew by like a little over 100. So that's pretty nice. Pretty good week. And for unaffiliated voters, once again, they got the largest growth this week at around 6,500. So, yeah, they're back to being the fastest growing uh, demographic in North Carolina, which is good, though it doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, I guess we might as well start talking about North Carolina State Supreme Court while we're at it. And, um, yeah, for those that don't know, the two seats that were held up in the North Carolina State Supreme Court that were up for re that were up for re-election were held by Democrats. Yes, in our state Supreme Court, we elect our elect judges, and um, the Republican challengers were able to beat the two Democratic incumbents. So, at the time, the as of right now, the court is four to three in favor of the Democrats. I know, right? Right when the state's getting more red, but um, yeah, the state Supreme Court is going to be five to two in favor of the Republicans. So. Yeah, there's actually gonna be that, and I could, and I'll talk more about other race potential future races in 2024, but that's way too early and ahead of time. But um, I might make a separate video on that later, just in case, because um, there are some interesting demographics changes that might actually flip some races. I think some races in the state level in 2024 are gonna be flipped in 2024, but um, I think I'm getting, I'm getting too ahead of myself here. Anyways, guys, that's it for now. Hopefully, I'll see you guys later. Peace.